Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. So I am going to demonstrate to you today how you can actually refill one of these um, gas canister stoves when these have been depleted. Right guys, so I'm going to go out on a limb and presume everyone is very familiar with this type of stove. Um, this is the solo gas canister stove and these are extremely efficient, they're very easy to use and when you need to boil water fast, this is the stove we go to. Now unfortunately guys there is a downside with these types of stoves. Um, and that is when we come to purchase the gas canisters that fuel them. This one in particular is a Coleman C100 Extreme 2. This is a mix, a propane and butane mix. And this is a 100 gram fill canister. This is the smallest one they do for these stoves. And when I purchased this for a single unit, it cost me £10.50. Um, now when you factor in the amount of boils you're going to get from this tin, you'd be lucky to get 60 or 70 normal boils um, from testing I've done. When that's depleted, that's another £10.50 out of your pocket. Now, there is a way around that, and I'm going to demonstrate that today. So this, guys, is the original gas canister I used to demonstrate the transfer of fuel. Um, I've had this one for about three years now, and this has been refilled many times. Using the method, I'm going to demonstrate to you. So this is a 230 gram um, power gas by Primus, and this was a propane and isobutane mix. Now, the gas we're going to transfer into this today isn't a mix it is solid butane and that's these ones here again you're probably very familiar with these if you do go camping these are used in your flat um, cooker stoves that you take camping and a pack of four of these butane canisters can be had for as little as three pounds over in the uk if you shop about this is a brand called five star doesn't really matter what the brand is and um, they all do the same job the only important thing is when you pick these up just make sure they have the bayonet fitting on the top, just like that one. Now guys, in order for us to transfer the gas from the donor to the empty canister, we will require this small brass valve. This is a one-way valve with a um, little O-ring on the top, as you can see there, and a small brass nipple. I will leave the link down in the description of where you can pick this up. This is the cheapest method of doing this, um, and again, this only costs a couple of quid. So, first of all, we're going to weigh the canister, and that gives us a weight of 183 grams. Now, don't forget, this is a 230 gram fill, and as you can hear, there is very, very little gas in that, so that is probably just the weight of the tin itself. Second step we're going to do with this tin is place that in your freezer drawer for at least 10 minutes. So, while the canister is chilling in the freezer, we're going to complete the next step, which is very easy. We're going to take the brass adapter and just place that on the bayonet like so so now the empty can is nice and chilled we're going to take the donor can and simply slip the nipple into the top and press down just give that 30 seconds You can probably hear that gas transferring now. And then periodically just remove the top can with the bayonet and then we'll take the scales again and we'll give that canister another way. So we were at 183 grams and now up to 216 grams if you can see that there. And we're just going to continue to its fill weight. So again, the fill weight of this red canister, the Primus canister, is 230 grams. So as long as you don't go over the 390 grams full weight of the tin, operation should be normal and safe. Like I said, I've used this canister many, many times. It's had many refills over at least three years. And I've experienced no explosions, obviously, because the canister and I am still here. And this is a much cheaper way than going out and rebuying canisters and it keeps these canisters out of landfill as well. Now I will also just mention while we're here, um, I had a few comments on my last video when I uploaded that, that people were trying this and they were getting no luck with it. Now some people, on this one it doesn't really happen but on the smaller canisters when I've refilled these, as you can see that's a refill, I've refilled this one as well. Sometimes when you press it down, you'll get no noise at all. 
Um, all you need to do is make sure the nipple's seated directly in the canister and then if you don't hear anything just give it a bit of welly and push it down a bit more. And there we have a fill weight of 303 grams. I'm going to leave it there and what I'll do is I'll put a burner on top and I'll give you a quick demonstration of it working. And now to demonstrate to you guys a fully operational, um, fully refilled gas canister. We're going to use my very new birthday present, got this today. Um, this is the Windmaster 4 canister stove from Soto. Absolutely phenomenal stove. Um, I've just boiled two pots of water in my titanium mug in 2 minutes and 26 seconds. That is ridiculous. I thought my little uh, Globetrotter uh, modded stove was quick, but that is blazing. Absolutely rapid. So, let's talk in. Let's show you this working. And there we go, guys. Absolutely faultless. Working absolutely fine. And that's your lot, guys. But before I go, a couple of pointers. So make sure you chill your empty canister in the freezer for about 10 minutes before you start this. It just allows the donor canister to transfer its fuel in a liquid state, so I believe. Also, if you're starting this project from scratch and you do have a brand new um, full canister of gas, weigh that first before you use it and take the weight down. And then when you've depleted the fuel inside, weigh that again and the difference between them two weights will be your gas fill. Don't overfill the gas, uh, don't overfill the canister with gas. I've never done it myself, so I can't tell you what happens, but from what I've read, it'll just not work or it'll just splutter gas out. So I'll just keep it below the fill percentage by about 5-10%. Alright ladies and gents, I hope you've enjoyed this um, countertop tutorial. Uh, on request, I will do a burn comparison between a full uh, canister of the original gas and a refill. I can tell you now, burn times are negligible. Um, the mix probably gets ahead by about 12 seconds um, on my previous tests. But if you want to see that, just give us a shout down in the comments and I'll make that happen. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining me. Until the next one, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, guys. Bye-bye.